should have changed my shirt so it doesn't look like I've been wearing the same shirt since the last video. Anyway, I guess I guess since you know I, I started collecting vinyl, maybe I should show you guys what kind of vinyl I have. Um, maybe I should start with the first vinyl I got. This vinyl record, this is Secret Band LP2. This is one of my favorite albums. This came out uh, almost two years ago now. Uh, there's a really interesting back, some weird mechanical thing, and some interesting names for tracks there. But uh, you gotta see this. So this is the very first record that I purchased. And uh, I'm very happy with this record being the first one that I purchased because it looks awesome. And the color scheme is called Piss Yellow and Sea Blue. So it looks green, you know. Uh, this is a killer album. If you don't like hardcore metal, heavy metal kind of stuff, you're probably not gonna like Secret Band. It's uh, pretty much Dance Gavin Dance, but without any of the singing. You know, it's just heavy screaming kind of metal stuff. I don't have all metal albums. I got a few. Okay, so now let's go into the next one. This is, actually speaking of, this is Dance Gavin Dance right here. It's pretty much the whole band right there, minus, you know, this is with the clean vocalist. It's a gatefold, really nice. There's a battle between like uh, animals and robots. It's kind of like a running theme in Dance Gavin Dance's albums. It has a nice label, it's just a black vinyl, but it's got a nice label on it, you know, just simple little, pretty old, good old black vinyl. You can't go wrong with black vinyl. It looks great, no matter what. These are not in any particular alphabetical chronological order at all. I'm just kind of grabbing and going. Uh, this one is a classic, I think, in my opinion. A perfect circle of 13th step. Uh, gatefold, really cool artwork on the inside. And it's just double black vinyl too, but awesome album. I think everybody should have this Nerf collection. You guys already saw this one, but I'll show it again in case anybody didn't see it. This is Hail the Sun's EP Secret Wars, and it is a double-sided LP. I mean, well, it's only got a side A with music, and then side B is a uh, etching. It's really hard to get the etching on the camera, but it's really cool. Speaking of Hail of the Sun, I actually have Mental Knife, which came out, I think, 2018, I believe. This is another uh, Equal Vision Records record. And this one is cream with black, orange, and blue splatter. And um, this one's actually a defect and they're sending me a replacement because the label right there, if you can see it, has a hole that's messed up right there. And uh, there's a ding right there in the corner of that uh, square white glare. See it? It's a ding that goes all the way through to the other side. Incredible album, but I don't want my stylus to jump, so I'm not gonna put this on until I get my new one. The final secret, or Hail of the Sun album that I have is uh, Culture Wars. This is a reprint, I think, but um, the vinyl one is really cool. It's a clear with black vinyl and silver or gray. This is another incredible album. I actually want to get that logo at the top right there on one of my fingers. I think that'd be a cool tattoo to get. Okay, I have this, this is interesting. Anybody recognize this? Anybody? No? This is Skrillex's, Skrillex's original band from first to last. And this is their album, Dear Diary, My Teen Angst Has a Body Count. Uh, let's see which one. It's a young, young Skrillex right there. Look at that, Sonny Moore from first to last. Black vinyl, but incredible, incredible record. Brings me back, man. Now, all right, so. We have Death here. Death isn't like a heavy metal, like screamo band. This is a an all black, or three black brothers, and they're a punk rock band from the 70s, man. This is a killer record. It's It's got some awesome tracks on it. Keep on knocking, uh, Politicians in My Eyes. This is, and you gotta watch the documentary too. I'll actually put the documentary down below if you wanna watch it. 
one of the coolest stories you'll ever hear. This album basically didn't come out until 35 years after they made it because nobody wanted to put them out because of their name and all this. So it was crazy stuff, man, crazy. I don't think anybody's gonna like this one unless you really like heavy metal. This is Dystopia, The Aftermath. Um, this is a really heavy metal band. You can tell by the names of the songs if you can read them. If you can read the names of the songs. Uh, this is a really old band. They actually reprinted this, but here's the thing, man. This album is super strange. It's clear vinyl, which is rad, but this is a 12 inch that goes at 45 RPM. And it doesn't sound good. It pops a lot and clicks. I might have to do a cleaning one. I might do a video on this on this particular record because I love this record to death. I love the whole album, but it pops and clicks and I haven't even done anything. I did like a nice dusting in the beginning, but uh, there's nothing on it. And it just sounds weird. It's 45 RPM. So weird. All right, last but certainly not least. Should have did this one first because of how hard it is to open. I don't have a case for this one yet. Him. Wings of a Butterfly. I'll pull it out so you guys can see it because I probably, probably, probably won't play it because I'm too afraid. Uh, this is my favorite record I have in my possession right now. 2005. Excellent. But yeah, guys, that's uh, that's just my little record collection. I figured I would do this video before I got some more because uh, this week I get a couple more uh, coming in and I'm really excited to, to show you guys those records too. So. This is sort of like a catalog, cataloging video and maybe discussion. If any of you are into vinyl records, let me know down below. You guys are into vinyl records? you like this kind of stuff? Do you want me to do other videos of vinyl records or, or, or not? Um, you know, I, I'm, I'm open to the idea of doing vinyl record videos. I think that it's worth me saying that I don't plan on stopping playing Fortnite and uploading Fortnite videos, Pokemon videos, um, you know, Pokemon unboxing videos and stuff like that. Like, I don't plan to stop doing that at all. It's just that I'm kind of like in a weird place right now. So I'm kind of just uh, just trying to ease back into it comfortably. And right now I'm pretty comfortable with music and vinyl. So I'm kind of just easing back into making videos with this just because it's comforting. I do have a box here from my friend, uh, a good friend of mine, Kevin, from way back when sent me this box to open for the channel. And he sent me it like over a week ago, but that just goes to show how difficult it is for me to hit record sometimes. So, um, well, these are my records I have more coming and uh, if you guys want me to talk about them more or you guys have any questions you want me to answer anything anything thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later bye